traffickers prey on people who are socially and economically disadvantaged in various contexts, making them victims of human trafficking. According to the United Nations statistics, human trafficking detection fell by 11% in 2020 and convictions also dropped by 27% compared to 2019 statistics. The United Nations urges small island developing states to develop resource management policies to combat this scourge under the theme, Leave No One Behind. In order to meet this threat head-on, the Royal Tunisia Police Force, through a robust and dynamic training program with the full support of the United States Embassy, has embarked on a week-long training course under the heading Human and Drug Trafficking Interdiction Subject Matter Expert Exchange Training. Drug trafficking, over half a trillion dollars is made annually. Human trafficking, 150 billion US dollars annually. Small arms and light arms trafficking, between 1.7 to 3.5 billion US dollars annually. Organ trafficking, over 1.7 billion US dollars annually. This is the profit that people make or criminals make every year when it comes to trafficking. This makes people trafficking most lucrative after drug trafficking. And according to the statistics from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, every year, one to two million women, children, and men become victims of human trafficking. And they are trafficked for up to 50,000 US dollars per person. 31 law enforcement officials are expected to benefit from this training, which includes personnel from the Customs and Excise Department. Um, and this marks the 51st event that we've been able to execute in two years across the seven countries. So again, that's about 1,700 people that we've been able to have exchanges with. We definitely try not to call this training. These are true exchanges because our folks are here to learn from you just as much as you're here to learn from them. And so we really encourage, like Dr. Seeley was saying, um, this open communication, the open dialogue through the week. Let us know how you do things. We'll let you know how we do things. And then together, we come together with some best practices and maybe some new or revised um, SOPs, right? The aim of this training is to equip law enforcement officials with the skills and techniques they need to swiftly recognize human trafficking victims, offer support to survivors, and end the sense of impunity that traffickers have. The drug trafficking interdiction component of this course also serves to strengthen customs and excise by enhancing their skills and knowledge on how to detect, prevent, and combat the trafficking at our borders. The Royal Senator Police Force is immensely grateful to the United States for its assistance, which will go a long way in the organization's fight against crime. The Royal Tunisia Police Force is doing a commendable job in sourcing the training necessary to decrease crime and protect the public. The organization hopes that more people will use the anonymous tip hotline 555 to report any suspicious or criminal activity they witness. By doing so, they can help the police to prevent and solve crimes and to bring justice to victims and perpetrators. Remember, if you see something, say something. Your voice can make a difference. Let's stop human and drug trafficking together.